Hi, I'm Gideon from TechnologyMan.com. Your phone most likely has a camera far more capable than even an expensive webcam. With the help of an app, you can turn your phone into a webcam that you can use with Zoom or any other app for that matter, and even use it for live streams with software like OBS. You could just use your mobile phone itself for a Zoom call, but especially for longer calls, being able to multitask on your computer with its big screen is far more convenient. And you can see all the participants in Zoom's gallery view far more easily. An added advantage is you can use it wirelessly too, positioning it exactly where you want. I've tried a few apps, but the one I'm using here costs £10 or $10, which is reasonable when you consider the price of a decent webcam, and it's a fair bit more versatile. There is a free trial to check it works, but the trial really is just for testing. iVCam works on iOS and Android, but can only connect to a Windows machine. It would be nice if it was supported on Macs too, but at least most Macs have some sort of webcam built in. Download the app on your phone, and then download and install the app on your PC. I would just accept the defaults. You can either buy a license for the app, or you can buy a license for your PC. It doesn't really make much difference, but I bought the PC app, which means I can connect an Android or iOS device as a webcam without having to buy any additional licenses. It's pretty straightforward to use. Ideally, you have some way of holding your phone. I've got a MiPhoto Sidekick on a desktop tripod, which is ideal. But you could use a car window mount or just rest your phone against something. If you're using an iPad with a case, you might be able to use its built-in stand. Open IV Cam on your smartphone or tablet, which will automatically connect across to your PC. You now have a webcam that is available to any application that supports one, such as Zoom, Skype, OBS, or the built-in Windows 10 camera app. You can configure the resolution and frame rate either via the app on your mobile device or using the IV Cam app on your PC. When your webcam is live, you'll see the greyed out IV Cam taskbar icon turn white. You can double click on this to open the application if it's not already displayed, and then tap on the hamburger icon for configuration. First off, turn on hardware decoding if your graphic card supports it which reduces the demand on your computer's processor. Then under settings, choose your resolution and frame rate. The options available will depend on your device and whether you're using its front or rear camera. For my iPhone 11, I get good results using the front camera at 1920 by 1080p, 60 frames per second, with video quality at medium. We still need audio for the Zoom call. The best option is to use a headset or a separate microphone plugged into your PC. If you want to use the earbuds that came with your phone, you'll probably need an adapter to break out the combined 3.5mm plug into a separate headphone and mic that you can plug into your PC. Again, this is the best option, but if that's not possible, I'll describe a couple of other solutions that use the microphone from your mobile device. You can use the stereo mix feature of your computer's sound card to record audio from your phone if it supports it. Most modern computers will. In Windows 10, right-click the speaker icon on your taskbar. Click on Open Sound Settings, then click on Sound Control Panel. Click on the Recording tab, right click on the Stereo Mix device if it's there, and enable it. In the IV Cam app on the PC, click on the hamburger icon and select your computer speakers from Play Audio 2. Also make sure Enable Audio is ticked under Settings. The trouble with this method is even with headphones on, you'll hear your voice as you talk, so it's not ideal. The last option involves using a virtual sound card, and works best if you really want to use your mobile device's microphone. The company who makes IV Cam have their own software to do this, but it costs around $20 or £20, a bit cheaper if you buy it with IV Cam. If you found a free alternative, please let me know in the comments below. Download, install and register E2E Soft VSC. Now choose E2E Soft V Audio from Play Audio 2 in the IV Cam PC application. You can now choose your phone as a virtual microphone in whatever software you're using. Open Zoom on your PC, click on New Meeting and Test Speaker and Microphone. Check you have the correct speakers and microphone selected. If you've plugged a microphone in, it should be listed as such. If you're using the stereo mix option, select that. And if you're using the virtual sound card option, select microphone E2E soft. Then click on join with computer audio. If the video quality doesn't look sharp in Zoom, tick this size only under video size in the IV Cam PC app to force Zoom to use a higher resolution you've set. Also double check enable HD is ticked under video settings in Zoom. I get good results over Wi-Fi, but the IV Cam software also lets you connect with a USB cable. I didn't find much difference in latency using a wire connection, but there is the advantage of your phone being charged whilst in use, which would be handy for longer calls. I compared the quality of a Zoom call on my PC using my iPhone 11 against the built-in webcam on my MacBook Pro. And you should be able to see the quality is much better on the PC with the iPhone's camera. I got the best results using a wired microphone into the PC, which resulted in no audio delay. Going beyond Zoom calls, IV Cam lets you run multiple instances, which lets you connect multiple devices. This could be useful if you're using streaming software like OBS. As a test, I set up my iPhone, iPad, and the Umadigi Android phone I reviewed recently for three different camera angles in OBS, and it worked pretty well. I'd love to know if this is something you might try, or perhaps you found a better solution. Let me know down below. And as always, if you have any questions, please ask. I read every comment, and I'll do my best to respond. 
I do hope you found this video useful. Please like the video if you did. I'm releasing videos every week on the latest technology and how to get the most out of it. So please make sure you subscribe. It helps more than you think. And don't forget to tap the bell icon if you want to get notified as soon as a new video gets uploaded. Thanks for watching.